Well, good morning, everybody. Everybody, take two. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mixed Retirement Adventures. I'm back up at the shack, probably the last fishing out of the year. It's raining. It's about uh, 7.15 in the morning. I don't think the sun's come up yet. But I want to get out there and do some hunt some perch. I've heard some good reports, so I'm headed out here in a little bit. I probably won't film till I get out there. I got about three miles to go in this rain to get to where I need to be, maybe four. Um, and this afternoon, I might have a special guest. We'll see how that goes. A world famous friend of mine is going to come up and fish with me, maybe. We'll see if he makes it. 81 years old, you never know. So I'm going to head out there. My goal this morning is 10 perch. Uh, limit in Minnesota is 20. So if I get 10 this morning, I can go back out with my uh, world famous friend. So we'll see how it goes. I'll see you out there. I'm not going to film on the way out. It's just, it's raining. It's raining actually really good. So we'll see you out there. All right, I made it out to the spot. It's still raining. I'm not seeing big schools. I see a few, so we'll see how this goes. I'm the only one here. Got up early, five o'clock, had breakfast. Left right when the sun was coming up and everyone else was still in bed, so we'll see how this goes. I'll turn you back on if I catch some fish. First cast, I got a little one. <clears throat> I stopped here, but I'm gonna keep him. I'm only going after big ones because I only want 10. So, but that was the first cast. We'll uh, see how this goes. I did see some out here after I stopped. The school went through. So, <clears throat> try it again, see what happens. It's nice to see they're uh, around. So, get baited up here and get back out there. Right, so here's the report. I've been out here for at least an hour. I only have three. Two of them are probably very questionable. Um, last one I got, I can't find them. I heard they were here, but I can't find them. It's cold, wet, rainy. I'm assuming that uh, it's supposed to stop raining about 10 and I think the sun's supposed to come out about noon so I'm hoping that when that sun comes out they'll show up but they're just not they're, oh, oh one just bit it right there I'm right below the boat I can see the school's almost coming in on the locator oh here's one let's see oh this feels like a nice one right now oh, with you guys on the screen I love it this is a nice one Ooh. This is what I'm looking for. The first one of the time I've been out here for an hour. Check that bad boy out. Oh man. Come on, buddy. He's got to be 12. Finally. And I got him right below the boat. Right below the boat. I pitch out, drag him in. They won't hit it on the drag in. I don't know. They want it. I think a bobber would work really good because they kind of want it suspended and not moving around. But I don't need bobbers with me. The one I do have is set up for walleyes, which I haven't used in years. So all right, let's see if I can get down here and get another one. Got a friend of mine I haven't seen in a number of years called me and said, where are you? And I go, I'm on your spot. So he's on his way here too. I think he must have probably left his home. So I don't know when he's gonna be here, but Ooh, there's another one on here already. I just pitched it out. Nope. He's on there. He was. He hit it. I think there's a school right below me. We'll see here. I'm just kind of dragging along the side of the boat. There's one on there. Might be little. Not little. Alright, I'm going to pitch out and bring drag a bunch more in here and see if I can get some more. Right, right below the boat again. I brought another school in. Another nice one, another keeper. It's probably 10. Like I said, I just want 10. My 
hands are so cold from the wet, it's super hard to hook the fish and hold them in them. So we'll see how this goes. That's, uh, I don't know how many I got now. Four, I think. I'm just gonna fish right below the, right below the boat. They won't, they gotta have it sitting still. I think the water's still a little too cold. So basically I'm doing the pendulum method here. Right by the boat is where I keep getting them, so. Because it's raining, my phone's buried deep in my rain gear, so it's hard to get at it. Another bite there, just on the pendulum method. Remember that from the Canada trip. I'm sitting in 7.7 .7 feet of water. So if it was dead calm, I could look down and see the bottom for sure. I'm getting bites here, but nothing's going to keep it. Oh, oh yeah, check this one out. Seems like a nice one. Oh yeah, what a pig. Oh, this is what I'm after. Ten of these. Ten of them, man. Holy man, wait till you see this guy. He's easily 12. That's what I want, 10 of those. Nice, right below the boat too. Cool, I had you guys on film too while I was doing it. That's pretty cool. And the phone's ringing. Time to fish, not to answer phones, right? Still raining, ay ay ay. Like I said, my fingers are so numb I can't hardly hold on to the minnow. I think it was 44 degrees this morning when I got up and took off. Pendulum method, we'll see how she works. See if I can get one while you guys are sitting here watching me again. Seems like the school's around. I'm seeing fish. I wasn't seeing them for the first hour of being here, man. Nothing. I circled this bar a lot. I didn't see anything. And all of a sudden they're showing up, or maybe they were there and they're just sitting on the bottom, not feeding. But there's fish now, I can see them right by the boat. Basically, I'm just moving this. My line here's one right here. Another one on. Right on. Another nice one. Not a 12, but easily a 10. Here. Right below the boat, too. Nice, huh? All right. Lost that last one because I tried to turn the camera on. As I've said many times before, Mark Pro and I know, a lot of us know who film, know about losing fish because you're too busy trying to turn the camera on. Fish on. Fish on. Feels like maybe a little one. Yep, little guy. I'm going to let this one go. Still just right below the boat. If I pitch out, they won't bite. It's the only place they'll bite is right below the boat. Crazy, but I know I'm bringing them in when I pitch out, so if I don't get one on a right below the boat, I just pitch out and I'll bring in a whole bunch of them. Still only have five. Colors are fading. Northern Minnesota. pendulum method out 10 feet let it drift down sometimes you have them right away sometimes I got to slowly bring it back to the boat I can see them right underneath the boat right here on my locator Six, I need four more and I'm going to head in and go wait for the special guest of the day. We'll do some filming with him. I just want ten, so six, I need four more.
tumbling right here below the boat. Might be little, but sometimes they surprise you. Those big ones will just grab it and hold on to it and won't swim away. <clears throat> Swing it back and forth and then hold it still and usually one will come up and pop it. Nope, not this time. Let's see what happens. Alright, I got a nice one on here ready to boat. Oh no! Dang it! Son of a gun. Every time I turn you guys on, my phone rings. Son of a gun. I lost that one because I turned the camera on again. <laughs> Fish on right below the boat. <clears throat> Dang, got off again. I gotta quit messing with that camera. It's driving me nuts. That's like the third one I've missed because I've had to turn the camera on. Son of a gun. The last two I've caught, I've caught pitching out, which they were not doing before. I had to fish them right below the boat, so that one was Oh, two of us even get him to bite again. My friend's on the lake, coming up. He said he's checking a bunch of other spots, but he just called me to find out what's going on. Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, that feels like a nice one. Oh, yeah, it's a beauty. Oh, shit. Oh, he's nice. God, got it. Check this guy out. Oh, man. It's hard to hold on to him. That's a beauty. Dang it, that's seven. Three more and I'm going in and warming up. Charging the batteries and waiting for the legend. All right, there's a huge school of them right below my boat. I can see them. They were behind me. I was going to lift up, but I'm hoping they come underneath the boat. There's one on there right now. You little guy, it's okay. You get off. Let's see if I can get another one here. Well, I got you guys on camera. My battery's going to go dead. on this one but there was a big school right behind me real close to the boat within 10 feet of the boat so maybe they'll come underneath here I can see him on the locator. Must be little guys. I'm gonna hit this one. Okay, got him. Oh no, he's pretty nice. Doc, got it. Kind of the tans that I'm looking for, minimum. There you go. Oh, hard to hold on to these guys. There you go. All right, so I had to switch batteries out. Before I turned you back on at another bite. This is my buddy here, I don't think so, but um just had a bite right below the boat again. I pitched out about 10 feet this time and drug it in. We'll see if I can get him to bite again. Oh, yep, right on. Feels like a keeper. Nope, I'm gonna let him go. Just pitching out like 10 feet and kind of dragging it in then holding it below the boat. It's coming up, might be my butt, I don't know. I haven't seen him for a while, so I don't know what boat he's got. That's not good. Hey, Butch, how are you? Butch? How are you? Cold. No, it's not raining, but it's cold, that's for sure. My, my, my hands are 
<coughs> my hands are numb. <coughs> my hands are numb. When it was raining, yeah. Now my hands are cold and numb and yep. Yeah. So I got a few. I think I've got seven. So you're gonna come up or you're gonna blow it off? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, well, keep watching if it comes out. I'm gonna go in here pretty soon, I think. And yep. Oh yeah, I've been out. I left at 7:30 this morning, seven o'clock, right at sunrise. It was raining out. So yeah. So I'll uh, I'll be in touch with you if the sun comes out. Head on up and call me. I'll come get you. All right. You take care. We'll be in touch. Bye. All right, there was a fish on here, but I didn't want to show that boat right there. Let's see what's on here. Oh, man, these are nice. That was the famous gentleman that was supposed to show up today, but he's not going to show up. It's too cold for him. He's 81, so, oh, I broke my line. Doggone it. And I don't have a forcep in this boat. I took it out when I went to Canada, I think. So, all right, well, I got to fix this stuff. I'll get you guys back here in a second. God, God, and I had one on here. I hesitated for the camera again. They keep dropping it. All right, switched out batteries, broke a line on a jig. On a, on a fish, so the legend's not coming. It's too cold. He uh, can't handle it, so he's going to stay home. I'm pretty sure he said if the sun comes out, he might change his mind, but he's about an hour and a half away, so. Let's see. There's a bite. No, let go. All right, so I'm back. I uh, haven't filmed much because about my private little point I was on <coughs> uh, now has uh, five boats on it, so. A lot of people move through uh, looking for fish because they're not biting real well. I think I have about 12. The legend of fishing backed out because it's too cold. And at 81 years old, you can make that decision. But I keep catching fish, a lot of them little. <clears throat> Under normal circumstances, actually, I think I'm gonna keep this. This guy here. He's about, uh, oh, no, I'm gonna let him go. He's about nine. But I'm just gonna sit here and fish all day, I think, until I get my limit, and then I'm gonna be done for the day. Probably pull the boat tomorrow, or tonight, we'll see. And that'll be it, time to start bow hunting. But, unfortunately, everybody keeps wanting to move through here. Kind of right where you're casting sometimes and getting bites, but they, Decide they're gonna troll right through it and push the fish all around. But that's just fishing. I don't own the lake. But I got a lot of nice perching. So I'm gonna try to pick up these dead minnows with cold hands doesn't work. They don't work very good. But nobody's right around me right now, so if I get one I'll I'll uh, turn the camera back on, but for now. Like I said, I think I have 12. My buddy showed up, he left. It's just too many people for him. So, but there's nobody around me right now. They've moved all around, so. Beautiful day, cloudy, but cold, man. Ooh, my fingers are still numb. Hard to put minnows on. But, let's see how it goes. Keep you going here while I bring this right by the boat. All, every fish I've caught has been right below the boat lately. I bring it in, I bring it about 12 inches off the bottom, and just kind of move it back and forth like it's swimming along. And every single time something hits it. Big, little, there's one on there right now. And every now and then you get a keeper. There's one up there right now, nibbling on it. There's one. Oh, 
these are big when you get them. And they're right below the boat. Check that one out. Jesus, things are powerful. Those are all 12, man. Phenomenal, they're right below the boat. You pitch out, I don't think I've caught a fish pitching out. Every one of them is right below the boat. I don't know. It's like they want it stationary. If I had a bobber, that would just be perfect. Got some new friends. There. Right there, one just went under. They chase the they chase the perch all around. Can be good and can be bad. If you're on a school, they can shoo them away from you. If you're not on a school, they can shoo them to you, so. Alright everybody. I gotta go back. The world famous friend of mine who's not gonna come fishing is here, but he's gonna take me out to lunch, I guess. So here's here's the catch for the day. Now that's a limit of 20 right there, so that's it for the season. I think, pretty much. I don't think but my friend Butch wants to go out. It's too cold for him, so we'll see. I'm gonna put these back in the live wool, and then I'll show you the uh, fillets when I get done. <clears throat> All right, off we go. It's, uh, well, I'm going that way. So I'm thinking that's like three miles. Could be longer. It's a long ways, I know that. It takes me about uh, 30, 40 minutes to get there. So, kind of a cloudy cold day out here. My hands are warming up a little bit, but still cold out here. We're going to see you guys when I'm done filleting, probably. We'll see what my friend Butch wants to do. I'm not sure what his plans are, but I know he's on his way. He just called me. That's why I'm headed in. So as I was cruising across the lake here, I thought about this fishing adventure. That's the weirdest form of fishing I've ever had. Those perch would not bite if you jigged. If you if you pitched and jigged back, they wouldn't bite. That's really weird. They would barely bite on a, a true, what I call a pendulum method. Some of my friends who fish with me have seen that before. But I literally had to bring my lure right beside the boat and I would you know, take my tip of my rod and move it to the right four feet and my my lure would basically swing down below my tip. If I didn't have a bite, I'd move the rod back and it would do the same thing again. It would pendulum back like that. This is right beside the boat. And I would say 90% of those fish were caught just like that. Stupid. You know, I think a bobber would have worked great. I just didn't have any bobbers. So... It was uh, a really a weird fishing thing. I, it was hard to film because I was right below the boat the whole time. And if I had them, I literally had to reel up four feet and they were in the boat because I was fishing in seven feet of water. So probably a pretty lousy filming job, but I, I, it was, it was the only way to catch them. So, and there was many times where it'd be 15 minutes in between a bite, 20 minutes in between a bite, so I didn't want to leave the camera running the whole time. So, but I'm headed in. Um, my friend and the very famous fishing legend in the Brainerd Lakes area, Butch Larson, is uh, in there waiting for me. Uh, he was going to come fishing, but he thinks it's just a little too cold. He might want to come out, but I'd have to go all the way back to the north end <clears throat> to take him out there. So, we'll see... Um, what he wants to do. He's also talking about maybe going to lunch, so. He wants to take me to lunch. I think I should take him to lunch. <clears throat> so, uh, that's it. I just had to explain the weird fishing, man. It was not not normal this time of year perch fishing where they're just aggressive and they're you're crushing it every time you jig one's pound on it. It wasn't like that at all, so. Well, I'm gonna head in. I'm sure he's there by now. Uh, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, I appreciate it very much. Um, all my YouTube friends, doggone it, we've got such a great little club going here. So, um, if you if you.
you like these little video please subscribe it helps us oh, if we get to a thousand as everybody knows thousands of the gold so uh, I would appreciate that comment if you like I promise I'll, co I'll comment back if you say something or comment to me um, and I'll show you this one more time look at this there's nobody here I got this whole I'm in the other bay now I'm almost back but check this out there's one boat right there I guess but I don't see another boat on this lake it is just insane oh there's one back in there I see him back in there so two boats on a beautiful Saturday I mean, it's a little cold but it is October so um, at the end I'll show you the fillets <clears throat> They'll be, they'll be beautiful fillets. I kept mainly really nice perch. So I'll show you those. Uh, stick around if you want for that. But everyone, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Next thing, I think I'm going to be bow hunting. It's probably my next adventure is being up in a tree, hopefully. Um, I want this weather to stay as cold as it is. It's supposed to warm up again, but uh, God, hopefully it stays cold. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next one.